Hi everyone and welcome to the quad here at James Madison University. This is a very iconic place here on JMU's campus. It's always very beautiful and especially on a sunny day it'll be packed with students playing spike ball, hanging out with friends, doing homework, running around with dogs, and all of that fun stuff. It's also a central hub for the College of Arts and Letters with many of their departments being housed in many of these buildings. For example, the Justice Studies building is in Darkest Johnson Hall. Sociology and Anthropology department is in Sheldon Hall, as well as the History Department in Wilson Hall, which is right behind me. When this was the original campus established in 1908, it was only the quad, so we have obviously grown a lot since then, but some of the folklore still remains from way back when. When this was Madison College, it was an all females education institute. On the quad, there is a ginormous rock on it. The story behind it goes, the girls that went here, they would go on dates with guys from the neighboring college and they would bring them back here and they would want to kiss their dates goodnight, of course, but they had a headmistress who would be watching them out the window making sure no nonsense was going on. So to avoid the headmistress seeing them kiss their dates goodnight, they would head behind the rock, kiss their dates goodnight, and then head back inside. So the rock has since coined the term the kissing rock and the rumor has it if you kiss on the rock, you are destined to get married. My best advice is don't kiss on the rock if you can't afford the rock, but if you do, um, there's really good engagement photos, wedding photos, wedding proposals of alumni on that rock, which is really, really awesome. The quad is one of my favorite places here on JMU's campus. I'll never forget the first time I was on the quad when I first toured JMU. I set foot on it and I immediately knew that I needed to make JMU my home and I knew it was exactly where I belonged. Um, and the feeling has never left since.